Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. Today we are playing Rome Total War, carrying on with our Julii campaign, of course, where we left things off taking one of Gaul's settlements in the southern part of France and also preparing an offensive against the Dacians. Now, focusing on the Gauls, I'm also trying to find where their um, where their last general is, and I'm assuming he must be here. Now, if I go... Why? Ugh. Go on, I'll let you pass. I'll let you go... Actually, I know. It'll block there, won't it? Okay, let's get our assassin. Now, can we kill anyone in here? No. Just trying to pick on Spain and let them know that we're uh, we're on our way. Alicia should be okay next turn, so... We're going to get some more early legionary cohorts, and we're going to go on our way to Condo, Condate Redonum. We're going to work our way down with... Luca, the cold-hearted. Perfect. I think we're pretty much on the path now for cleaning Gaul up once and for all. Once we've done that, we can then go after the Dacians with full force. Not that we're not doing that already. Well, actually, no, we're not really, are we? We're really kind of just breezing through the Dacians. I've just noticed we've not got any archers with that army, have we? Let's get some archers with the army. Get two there. We can redo them later and let them join the army. Now, where is their capital? That is the capital. We go for Campus Lazigus, Aquincum, Love of them, and then finally, Lovasich. Perfect. But then we have a border with the, uh, Britain, a very, very large border with Britain. And the only way for them to expand is either with Grace, uh, Thrace, or ourselves. Now, looking here... They are still under Thracian control. However, I have a suspicion. Thrace will turn on us once we've got Campus Lizigus. Campus, how do you say that? Campus Lizigus? Yeah, let us know how you actually pronounce that. I'm, uh, I'm really struggling with that one. <laughs> anyway, let's get our army sorted for this once and for all. We've got a lot of pre-Marian troops here, I've just noticed. Lot of pre Marian troops. Do we just disband them? You know what? They can go into there for a start. The archers. Mm, let's get some more archers in there. We've actually not got that many early legionary cohorts, I'm noticing. Ooh. I think we're doing okay for money at the moment. Morale bonus the troops trained here. That's too good to get rid of. It's just too good to get rid of. What's squalor like? Yeah, nothing. You know what? Let's go for roads. Let's go for the roads. Why not? Sir. Now, Sir. I'm going to leave pre-Marian stuff behind, I think. I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's get our early legionary cohorts in there. Perfect. Now, let's go for some dogs as well. The dogs are always fun to play with. We've then got three archer units and then the Sarmatian mercenaries. I think that should be enough, you know. I think that's going to be enough. Against, yeah, nothing really. Okay, this is going to be a very, very battle-heavy episode, I feel. We're going to go for Love of Them, this settlement. And also, next couple of turns, we're going to get up towards Condite Adonum. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, got a bit of cash. I know we've been neglecting Segestica and also Halicarnassus. So can we upgrade them first? No, they have... They have upgrades already ongoing. Thessalonica, public baths next turn. Perfect. Guys have destroyed a lot of yours. Now, squalor. Squalor is an issue. Now, mm, now what do we do? Public order. Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? Why not? We could probably get more garrison, but that's obviously more maintenance costs. And we're trying to keep the cost as low as possible. Can I do? No. Okay. This southern Greece is proving very, very tricky at the moment. Very tricky indeed. You're on normal tax rate, which is fine. You are happy. And you're on yearly games until we've repaired this. So you can go back to normal tax rate just for one turn. Now, there's not much else we can do this turn. Not much else we can do. Yes. Our spy, let's get him over here to see what the actual capital is looking like. Is that the faction? Faction heir, but not the faction leader. I thought he was really old. 
faction air and he's 19. That sounds to me like they are struggling for actual family members. I'd be very interested to know where their actual generals are. Because there was a couple that were float. Well, there was one that was floating around here for a long time, wasn't there? He might be around here. Where is my assassin? Who shall die this day? Oh, there's one there, yeah. And that's just the normal family member. Okay, we're still chasing him. We're still chasing him. Perfect. Now let's see what the Gauls do. Next couple of turns. They're trying to ferry small amounts of troops, but... Oh, the Bruti have gone for Nicomedia again with one unit. Well, actually, no, it had a very small amount of Astarte. Yeah, I don't know what the... Uh... Thrace, I told you. I told you, Thrace. It was a matter of time. It was not when. No, it wasn't if. It was when. So now we have Thrace to battle with as well. Okay. Makes it very, very interesting indeed. Now, do we go up? We could go towards Lemonum, finish them off first, and then go up towards Condate Redonum. I'd like to think of it going from up here, down, and then meeting round here. I think that could be beneficial. Although, depending on what the settlement size is, we could build stone roads. Population 5 to 7. Yeah, they're nowhere near. Absolutely nowhere near. Now, let's spy on them. Hopefully, they can open the gates for us as soon as we get there. In two turns, I'm assuming. Yep, two turns. We should be able to clear them. Perfect. That's them sorted. Now, that unit has moved out of the way, so hopefully we can go through here. And indeed, there he is. The faction leader. Faction leader himself. How easy is he going to be to kill? Not very. Which is expected, really. It is expected. Now, I'm going to wait for this general to come back down and then we'll both push up towards Numantia. I am careful. I'm, I am thinking about the Britons as well because I'm pretty sure they will attack as well once Gaul has been sorted with. So, let's get, let's get some more infantry. And also, I think roads could be beneficial. These paved roads would be very beneficial, I think. Okay, Tegestica can also be upgraded more so. What do we go for? How's Squalor looking for you? Not too bad. Could always love a bit more money though, don't we? We are on high tax rate as well and they are fine, so yeah, let's go for the market. I don't think Daisy is going to be focusing on Segestica anytime soon. Sir! Now, Archers in there. Love of them it is. How many siege sir. engines can we get? We can get four. Perfect. And that is the faction leader himself. At your service. Now, do we go for faction heirs there? He's in there. So possibly we could just thinking if we assassinate this unit down here, which is a guaranteed done deal. Perfect. They have two general units. As far as I am concerned, they have two general units. I'm going to get our assassin over here. So, we're going to kill the faction leader next turn. That's it. That's a guaranteed. And then, moving on to the capital. I might actually just push on to the capital, because if we get rid of that general unit... I know in past times... Let me know if I'm wrong, but in past times, if there's no more generals for a given civilization, they just get destroyed. The faction gets destroyed. I know they spawn generals left, right, and center, but I think if you get rid of them all in the next, in, in a couple of turns, they do actually get rid of the actual, all the actual civilization itself, the faction. So that'd be interesting to try and uh, test out now. Agent detected. They're dead. And then Thrace. Yeah, we know where that is. Alazora. Perfect. They are neutral. What are the Egyptians doing? Yeah, I've backed off. Good. Good. That's what we want you to do. What is going on here? They've got two units there. I honestly have no idea what the Bruti are thinking. They really want that settlement, don't they? They really want that settlement. Got such a large army here as well that they could just ferry over and pretty much have the job done and dusted. But yeah, I'm not really sure what they're doing at the moment. The Bruti are. Okay. So we've got one settlement under siege there. We've got another here. 
And then in the next couple of turns, we'll have one up there. So let's have a guess. Who are the most advanced faction is? Who was it last time? Was it us? Let me guess. Egypt? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now, the Egyptians. Yeah, the Gauls are still ferrying troops up. Ooh. <gasps> Decius. No. No, he's died. It was a matter of time. You know, you walk out the door, you see someone that you know, and they ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. He died 67 years of age. And what a life he had. We have sent diplomats and emissaries across the known world to hopefully retrieve some kind words in light of Decius Julius's death. We will now show a few scenarios of those kind, kind words. In light of recent events, I think it would be wise for us to be left with some of the wisest words that Decius Julius ever spoke, such that he can carry on being an inspiration to those that he inspired. We've seen contents of latrine buckets with more courage than our foes. May he rest in peace and be remembered forever. Who is the new faction heir? Lentulus Sextus. But Marcus Julius there. We cannot give Cnaeus Julius the faction heir role just yet. Have we got any Julii's? We have. He can be the next faction heir. Let's keep it in the family. But as soon as we can, he's getting the faction heir role. Hopefully he's a good general. Hopefully he takes after his father. That's very sad. It's a sad, sad day in the Julii world. But we all knew this day was coming. We all knew this day was coming. So then. We have that army going up there. Spain is lurking ever so closely to Nabo Martius. Interesting if Spain actually go for us. Very interesting if they go for us. Start picking off these Thracians. Just to let them know that we are around here. Tylus. Family member. We pick him off next turn, right? 82%. Perfect. That's pretty much a done deal. Pretty much a done deal. Now, you guys are on the verge of rioting. So... Aqueduct. I have to keep it. We have to. We have to keep a very close eye on this Greece territory. Was it a good idea going for it? Possibly not. Possibly. Who knows? Now, which one do we attack first? Do we attack Love of them or this one? Is that a random family member? Looks as though it is. Now that is a large army as well. Oh, it looks like it's a lot of mercenaries, doesn't it? We've got a spy here. Let's bring our spy out. What can you see? Oh, yeah, that's a lot of mercenaries then. Definitely a lot of mercenaries, but he's not going to be in time to save his beloved faction leader. Do we do the faction leader first? I think we do. I think it's fair to say we do the faction leader first. 2,000 men versus 100. Let's do it. An eagle circled the camp three times, then flew towards the rising sun. Such a portent can only mean a good day for us today. Well, 
Lily. Now then, let's start the battle. Let's just get this over and done with as fast as possible. Show their true virtue. And just like that, all I did was ferry our troops inside the settlement, and as soon as they ran into our early legionary cohorts, they broke. So, you know what? Let's just end the battle there. They've got nowhere to run. They will die. That one's for Decius the Killer. There we have it. Love of them. They are happy. Let's enslave that. Repair. What are we dealing with here? It's trying to assess public order. No, we can immediately get rid of that then. Let's go Bacchus. Perfect. Let's put the attack rate down to low so they grow as fast as possible. Now. Are you going to run back towards Love of I have a sneaky suspicion that you may do that. Orders. Faction leader is dead. So what does that make you? The faction heir. Yeah, okay. That means then they only have those two generals because that will now be the faction leader. Yep. I've not got any assassin close by. That's annoying. How long would it take to get one up there? Is it worth it? Absolutely. Let's do it. He's dead. Perfect. War declared against Spain and Scipii. Right then. Where is that? There. Okay. That has potential for them to attack us then. By the looks of it. So next turn. They're probably going to attack us. Perfect. Such a sad. Such a sad, sad sight reading that, unfortunately. But life moves on. Now then. Not got much cash left. We can take this settlement. Attack! Let's take this one as well. What are we dealing with in here? A relatively fair match of units, onagers, archers. Yeah, I mean, again, this should hopefully be a walk in the park, but let's see, let's get into it. The portents are bad, my friends, but I do not care. I Good, because it doesn't matter. Now, where are they? Tower there, and there's a tower there. So, let's just go on the gate, move our archers close. And let us release the dogs on the Chosen... Oh, it's the Chosen Archer. Okay. I want to try and get the Chosen Archers down as fast as possible. Are they both Chosen Archers? Yeah, they both look like Chosen Archers. Oh, no, they're Chosen Swordsmen. Yeah, okay. Let's get those Archers done and dusted with. The enemy gate is down. Our battery okay, has done its work. we've got our... Ram done and dusted with. We've attacked... Oh, there's Chosen Archers there. I think there was more than one, wasn't there? They've got the honor just waiting right on the rally point. Okay, I like that. I do like that. Okay. Put them on fire at will. Let's bring our cohorts up closer. I want to get the Chosen Swordsmen. Are they firing on us? No, they're not. Yeah, I want to get the, uh, the War Dogs onto those. Can't fire them because of the wall. So, let's bring these guys up closer. And also you. Everyone's on fire at will. Now, you guys should be able to fire at these now. Yep, you can. Perfect. As they're walking back as well, we should get a lot of kills. Get the dogs on them as well. Let the dogs do their damage before our heavy infantry units come in and clean up. Okay, so we are filtering into the settlement slowly but surely, and the dogs are doing the work for us. We've managed to get a lot of this chosen swordsman. Oh my god, I've just seen some... Oh my god, I've just seen the onages. Where are you aiming for? Oh my goodness. Okay, I didn't realise you were actually at that. Okay, please, everyone move. Move, move as fast as you can. I want everybody up that hill as fast as you can, please. Oh my god. Just go for them. Just go for them. There's chosen archers around here as well that I've just noticed as well. We can get them later on. Oh my god. Please just filter in. Just filter in. Archers are there. We need to get those onagers. We need to get those onagers. 
What are you gonna hit? What are you gonna hit? Oh my god! Please run. Please, please, for the love of all that is holy, please run. You're just chilling there. Do not get involved in the onager for- oh my god. That's a good place to put onagers. Let's get on them. Where are the dogs? Dogs are fighting on them. Is that the chosen archers? It is. Perfect. Where are you guys running? Fight them. Please fight them. Let's get our general unit on there. Ooh, okay. You are still steady. Perfect. You guys are... Oh, no. Wait, the archers. We don't want the archers. What are you guys doing? Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Where is our general unit? He's right in there. No, no. Get out. Get out right now. Get out. Get out of there right now. No, please run. Please run. Please run. Why is he just walking? Why is he just walking? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's get the archers on the side here. They can take some pot shots at the... He's running away. He's running away. Okay. Perfect. It's beyond belief. Perfect. Please keep going after them. Please keep going after them. Go after them. Go after them. Oh, that was a really good volley from them. War dogs, you can just chill here for a second. Chosen archers. There's still a massive chosen archer warband. I knew there was multiple ones. I knew there was multiple ones. You can go into the side of them then. General, you can keep them busy. You can keep them busy as well. General unit can just focus on... Oh, actually, no, hang on. Hang on. Come into the side. Come into the side. You're literally right there. Can you fire on them? You can fire on them. Perfect. Now, what are you guys... Yep. Yeah. Fire onto them. Go on. Fire. Fire. Keep going. Let the Sarmatian mercenaries deal with the archers. They will rout, but it'll distract them for a little time while we actually focus on this main army right here. Go on, straight into the side there. Straight into the side. Come on. Come on. They're not firing anymore. Let's get the archers on the warband straight in the center. Perfect. They're not going to break. I just want to kill as many as we can. 60, 46, 45. Okay, they are not breaking. Okay, let's just go back. Let's just go back. I'm just cautious that there's so many troops in here. No, you can run. You can run if you want to. Run as fast as you can. Yeah, we lost a couple of horses there. Oh, they are chasing us now, though, which is perfect. Because they're now... They're off the onagers, which is exactly what we wanted. What are you guys doing? You're steady. You're steady. Okay, that's fine. That is fine, though. They have been pulled off of the onagers. Do we go straight into the side of them? I think we do. Let's do it. Yep, yeah, Salmation mercenaries have broken. Which was... Is expected. And they've broken. Perfect. Finish them off. Now we don't have to deal with the onagers. Now, we're going to get shot in the back from the archers. So, what I want to do is get you guys on those archers. As fast as you can. As fast as you can. Now, I'm going to... Perfect. He's broken. They're all still steady. That's exactly what we wanted. Can you guys go after them? Go after them. One of you guys go after them. No, 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 no. General, keep the general close. But, the Falksman's warband. There's a lot of guys here. You guys are running. Straight into them. Straight into them. Help the uh, help the guys out. Come on. Help them out. What's in there? Warband. It's just warband. How are you guys doing? Shaking, shaking. Okay. They're broken. What about you guys? You're steady. Fight them. Fight them. I want you on them. What are you doing? Run as fast as you can, please. Are you running? You're tired. No excuses. Come on. Come on. They've broken. They've broken. Perfect. Perfect. On them. I want you on them now. Finish off these archers before they actually decide to um, join in and all the other fun. Get them. Get them. Oh, look at that. It's a sea of brown and red. We are pushing our way through, though. We are pushing our way through. Get on them. Perfect. Now it's Falks remaining. And what are you guys fighting at the moment? Nothing. Get back onto those Falks. 
Okay. Straight onto them. Straight onto them. Perfect. Our dogs. Wait. That's them, isn't it? It is perfect. Oh my god. Yep, he's dead. Now let's just bring our guy back ever so slightly. You guys, onto them. Onto the Falks. They've come off the podium as well. Stay ever so close. Let's get the Sarmatian mercenaries in here as well. Let's try and kill them off. Reduce our outgoings per turn. What are our archers doing? Are they firing? They are. And they're doing an okay job. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring them back. I don't want them to knock any more casualties. Wavering. Let's just push in there. Let's just push in there. Actually, let's go around the side. Let's go around the side. They're still going to be there by the time we come round. One of them has broken. One of them has broken. They're all eager, though, but they are all very tired. They're all very tired. Okay, so we've got two units breaking. The cohort, they're shaken, steady, and shaken. I think it is just a matter of time now. It is just a matter of time. We are breaking them down, but because they are on the uh, town centre point, the rally point... They will not break, and it's just a fight to the death. We have lost heavy, heavy numbers in this fight. But I think we knew that right from the start. They had a lot of elite troops. Chosen archers especially doing significant damage to us. Okay, two of our units have broke. It's the last one. They are steady, but they are absolutely exhausted. Our general unit is in here. He's also very tired. Go straight into the back of them. That should get them. Push them off. Push them off. Come on. There we go. They should break now. As long as they're not on the podium. Which I'm pretty sure they're not. A general is at the back as well. It's just this one guy, I think. I think it's just this one. There we go. The enemy army is in Ooh, flight. that was a bit sketchy, them wasn't it? Drive them from the battlefield. That was very sketchy. Let's just end the battle. Clear this victory. Mm. victory. Worthy of Roman arms. Yes. I mean, we did kill double what they killed of us however it was well fought look at the dead here unbelievable but that is our second dacian settlement this episode alone there we have it are you guys going to be happy you're not so extermination got a trait increase for appius i should put him on good stead what's this hiding from the will Oh my god. Oh, he's a fluent speaker, though. Hmm. So the last one was hooting, and now this one is hiding from the world. So in the two turns that we've had him, he's going crazier and crazier. It does have a massive effect on morale, though. So we're going to have to bear that in mind as well when we're going towards sketchy battles, like that one, for example. That would have had effect, a massive effect, clearly. So what does it say? This man has taken to living inside a giant amphora. He now lives in terror of the coming of the great wine pressing. He is convinced that this will strike in the hours of darkness. <laughs> yeah, he does sound crazy, doesn't he? Okay, what are we dealing with here? Improved farms and food production. Plus three. Wow. I mean, interesting. Okay. What I'm going to do is get a road. We want to get a road and ferry troops over there. And we've got a lot of roads going up over here as well, which would prove very beneficial for us. I don't think the Dacians are going to be on us anytime soon. So we can just build some troops. Quite a, a substantial settlement, this. Quite a built-up settlement. I do like it. Perfect. Okay, second settlement. There we have it. Now, the Dacians. They are not in range for love of them. But they may go and support Lovasic. Or even... This one down here, Aquincum. We can only wait until next turn. Medialanum now has city plumbing. Are they all still living in crap? They are still all living in crap. Very interesting how they're choosing to do this. Why is this squalor so high? If I increase the stone wall, then an epic stone wall, does that theoretically expand the size of the settlement, which allows people to... I'm trying to think logically here. Does the game actually use that logic as well? Crop rotation. Farms and food production. I don't think that would have an effect. Temple of Bacchus doesn't improve. Yeah, doesn't improve squalor. Let's do the walls. Let's see what's 
see what the walls do for squalor. But that's uh, very interesting, isn't it? Senate mission successful. Perfect. We've got 5,000 denarii. That's exactly what we want. We love to see that. Now, where are the Egyptians going? Okay, they're not really heading off, but they are still staying here. I think Oppius is going to have to stay here and let the Dacian campaign off to somebody else. I think that's what we're going to have to do, unfortunately. Alicanassus, can you build anything? Yes, you can. Now, we did say markets or barracks, because if we're going to be trade... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Serious public... Uh, population growth plus 0.5%. Bacchus is the standard one we go for. Let's go for a port. I mean, you've not got any issues for squalor or anything like that, have you? So, yeah, let's go for the port. We don't need the bar uh, the blacksmith because we've already got upgrades on them. So nothing new for that. Any army in these ships? Don't look like it is. Does not look like it is. Okay. Can't upgrade anything in here. Spain may attack us next turn. We've got... Luca, the cold heart, is going for Condate Redonum. It's looking good. We're on a very, very frontal push right now for a lot of different locations. We're not holding back at all. This is perfect. They are all okay. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Corinth, we could potentially build stuff in you, but I think we'll wait and use that money wisely across other settlements that need it. Let's end the turn. And here we go. Here we go. We knew this was going to happen. We knew this was going to happen. I think this is the faction leader as well, isn't it? It is. Oh my god. He does have some mercenary units, though. These are mercenaries as well. They have a lot of experience, though. Look at that. That is pretty much a full army. What are we dealing with here? Superior commander. Galloper plus one commander. Eastern, a turncoat. Well, we're not Eastern, fortunately. Mercenary captain. Okay, natural born leader. Publicly loyal. Suspicious. Victor. Oh, he's on the same as Decius. So he's won many battles. Clearly. Clearly won many battles. Wildly extravagant. Heartless ruler. Faction leader. Likes a drink. Okay, so he's not a very good manager, but he's a very, very talented commander. This is going to be one massive, massive battle. Fortunately, we took it on the bridge, but this only means... Once the faction leader, hopefully, has been killed, trying to assume we're going to win this battle, stay confident and optimistic. Once we've killed this Egyptian army, there's plenty, plenty more Egyptian armies coming down. We've also got this one down here, which is huge. And we've also got another one here. Oh, God. Right. Well, I think this is a good place to leave it, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I will see you all in the next one.